What's up, Spooners? Welcome back, guys. Today, I bring to you Rust gameplay alone, playing Rust solo. And not only that, but playing Rust while starting out with a tradition that I hope continues for many more videos, which is the treasure hunt. So without further ado, let's go get some treasure. And maybe the treasure is the journey along the way. Maybe we meet some friends who are treasure too, you know? Um, on a pretty high pop server today. So it's going to maybe be a little rough, but maybe be a little awesome. Look at that. Big base with some twig. Unfinished. Hopefully there will be many opportunities like that to get loot and skyrocket ourselves to new heights. All right, it's treasure time some loud music for that treasure not bad i suppose uh reasonable treasure i guess maybe we make a large furnace base That'd be kind of interesting like a wooden large furnace base dude that is a nice kermit that is a very nice kermit that's a dinkbot level kermit kind of want to live near this guy hey man i have a question do you spare me like some goodies like a house. Ooh, I like that. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah, very satisfied with my minimal goodies. That is close. I wonder... I might have to ignore that. I just, I don't have the means right now. I got a lot of cheese on me. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. I am going. But I'm going to be smart about it. I'm going to bring a ladder. Make two DBs. Stash all the extra stuff. That raid was a lot smaller than I thought. There's no way I'm approaching a two by one out in the open. Oh, hello! Another adventurer! Spooners, this video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a membership club delivering a monthly box of top shelf goods from under the radar brands straight to your door. It's completely free to join and you can skip a month or cancel any time. 90% of the products in their boxes come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the U.S. of A. Every month, they introduce you to cool new products based on a preference quiz you fill out when joining. Their items vary tremendously, ranging from knives, cookware, apparel, alcohol, food, and even pipes and bongs. But the one thing that stays consistent through all their hand-picked products is an ultra-high standard when it comes to quality. Bespoke is now offering a new membership program where you can get great deals all year round. If you look at the right times, you can get their stuff for upwards of 30% off, and it's totally free to join. On top of this, you can review each of your monthly boxes before they even send it. So you always have the option to keep it as is, swap out any products, or skip the month entirely with no charge. With Bespoke, you only ever pay for what you want. I recently received the off-duty and cured boxes from Bespoke. The off-duty box comes with this super nice sweatpants shirt combo. It's a simple but utterly comfy fit, perfect for certain activities that require sitting for prolonged periods of time. The cured box, on the other hand, came packed with five differently flavored artisanal salamis. They're absolutely delectable, sliced onto a cracker with some cheese, and if you're of age, it pairs exquisitely with a nice bottle of wine. Bespoke really has something for every kind of person. If you'd like to try Bespoke Post for yourself, right now is the perfect time. You can get a free mystery gift with your first membership purchase. All you have to do is click the link in the description and enter Spoon Gift at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash spoon gift. Thanks again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Oh my god, I thought about- I thought I was getting db to the face. What's up, broski? What? one five eight eight nine two five three zero. hello! That is one hell of a name. How are you doing, friend? You got a mic? No. Oh, okay. he doesn't have a mic. He's doing very well with the emoting, though. <laughs> yeah, I, to I totally get what he's saying. <laughs> Where'd your horse go? Oh, hi, what's your horse's name? <laughs> you don't know. It's beautiful. I'm so surprised you didn't DB my, DB me to my face, man. Like usually that's what happens when somebody rides up on a horse with a double barrel. <laughs> I've never <laughs> met a friendly just before. Chill like that. <laughs> Your emotes go crazy, brother. Later, one five eight nine two five three zero. Thank God for emotes, man. Alright, well, I'm thinking I take this horse, take my loot, go find a build spot. I don't want to build by outpost. I kind of want to build somewhere, like, weird. I just got done with an iceberg wipe, so I don't really want to live in the cold. That kind of got old.
Okay, here's my idea. I got a jackhammer. I've got this large furnace. I decide on a build spot. Go post up. Probably not near here. A lot of violence here. I mean, this spot could be kind of epic. It's, one, it's by one of those like old style mountains that's only on like large maps. Stone quarry. It's probably gonna be a lot of action here with mill tons and everything, but I'm up for the challenge. You know what? It might be safer to take the train. Horse leaves me a bit vulnerable. I only have six fuel though, so I might have to do something horrific. Guys, please look away. You guys did not see that. Oh yeah, this is Node City out here. That's what I like to see. Hey, this guy had the same idea. Okay. I'm thinking right over here in the ruins of this base. Grab a couple nodes, get our starter up. Work on getting the furnace base going. Okay, the base is set up seamlessly. I'm going to try and farm up this large furnace base just like off the bat. Once we get this thing pumping, we're going to have very speedy progression, I think. You know what? I'm going to take a look at this base before I farm. See if there's any goodies. Damn, this thing is cleaned out. Oh, hold on. Sleepy man. This is what I'm talking about with the old mountains. These are rare now. You know? How tall they are. Some dude's up there. Posted up. I don't know how good they are for node spawns, but they look cool. That's enough for me. What the hell? Dude, the stone box. What scripted moment of the day. We definitely have enough to build it now. Alright, I need to get a bunch of wood, and we will start construction. I think I might just attach it to this base. Why complicate things? Okay, let's hope I did this right. I did it, I think. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to get this pumping. I got to go farm more wood. The base is coming together quickly and beautifully. Okay, I've done enough farming for now, at least. Furnace is pumping. I need scrap. I don't even have a tier one workbench to refill my jackhammer. I gotta get moving. Thinking maybe I go launch site and do a quick scrap run. Realistically, you know, if I keep that furnace pumping sulfur and metal, by the time I farm scrap for a tier three, I should be able to raid. I think I'm gonna progress pretty quickly this way, barring any tragedies. All right, guys, I had to take a call from my grandma for a moment, but I found a box full of tools and then killed a man who had shorts on. And I think he lives here. Is this deep potential? Oh, there's multiple. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why that scared me so much. I all tapped. Jeez, man. I gotta get a grip, dude. I just flubbed that. So bad. I hear loud noises and I just smash my hand on the keyboard every time. I have like no control. 
Anybody know how to how to improve that? Is that like a skill I can work on? Jump scare tolerance? I do really bad at movies too. Not even necessarily horror movies, just movies. I'll get jump scared from like Ratatouille. If you guys have any tips and tricks, let me know. All right, I'm gonna go hit scrap. I guess I'm forced to the road now because I don't have rad protection. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just had a strike of genius, I think. A moment of clarity. Pretty sure I do have a ladder. Your boy is about to go deep, maybe. Get my box of tools back. This could be big. Bet I can just make this jump. I don't think these guys are home right now. Damn. What's he doing in there? No. Ah, oh, damn it. I flubbed. All right. I'm going to go schlub around. Try and get like 20 scrap. Boo. Boo. Come on, guys. After a lot of running, I see this base that's been cracked open. Will it have money? Okay, a building plan and a green card. Very interesting. Onward. Money? Okay. Hey, a little bit of money. I could take this tier two, actually. This could be big. All right, I gotta head home with this tier two. This is a big development. Someone's doing Bradley. Perfect timing. Right, depot, get the furnaces running, and head out for some cheese. Alright, guys. High risk, high reward. That's the name of the game. Put my odds at about 5% to get out of here with loot, but it would be big loot. Oh, guys, I did the screen smash again. Someone tell me how to stop being so scared. Caught up, but died to rest. Get so frightened, man. Such a scared guy. All right, I'm going back to launch. Run some crates. Get something. I do have a lot of BPs, so if I get some components, I can make you know some reasonable weaponry. My sulfur's also getting pretty good, so could do a raid. I have satchel BP. So we don't even have to wait till tier tier three if we want to do one early. You know. Things are still looking up, even though I've flubbed. Really getting upset at my my jump scares. You know, this is my job, so it's like, imagine if... Let me think of a good analogy. Imagine if you were like a stock trader, right? And you keep finding these really good trades, and then every time you go to click the buy button or whatever, your hand explodes or something. It's like that. You know, it's not, it sucks. I don't get the loot and I also, I also just flub, you know, my own profession. So guys, drop a comment. How did you get over your fear of things? Your fear of everything? Let me know. What do we have here? Come on, show me some money, please. Raise some spirits. Okay, I'll take it. All right, some jugs, some pills. Come on, man, nothing. Not even an inkling of loot. Alright, I made it. I demoted myself from launch site to gas station. I think this aligns more with my sensibilities and abilities. Exciting stuff. We could get 100 scrap, potentially. Pretty crazy. Hey, satchel. Not bad. Ugh.
All right, I'm gonna go get more sulfur. If I'm too scared to kill people, then I think I'm gonna have to raid for my loot. I'm also gonna use this guy's refinery. I'm bombing it. Farm up maybe like 10 satchels. Maybe we raid that. Or that other one that was running. Farm up some satchels. I can make myself like a saw or something. We'll be doing all right. Alright, this clan over here just called in a supply signal. I'm gonna stash this stuff and go check it out. Open it, maybe lands outside. Oh, they called in two? That gotta have good odds. Two airdrops? Alright, this one might. I don't know. They got pretty lucky. I'm not sure if they have turrets though, so maybe I can build in. Okay, yeah, they had a lot of turrets. <laughs> Definitely had a lot of turrets. Looney had Python Man on the roof. 50 turrets. What can you do? Well, we made it home with the rope. Pretty much have everything we need for satchels. I just gotta make gunpowder. Alright, I've waited out the night, I've made 10 satchels, which is enough for a stone wall. I'm gonna go try and raid this furnace base. It's either this one, or the one that I saw that was on. This one's at stone quarry, but this other one was on, so I know that, you know, someone's gotta have loot. It's also risky. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I got a bad feeling about that one. It does have a sheet door. I think I'm gonna go through a wall, though. I don't wanna risk it. Okay, I like that. I mean, not bad. I guess I'll come back and raid the TC. It wasn't profit, but I mean, we got some cheese, you know, can't complain. You know what? I could just jackhammer into TC. I'm pretty sure that was soft side. Alright, they're both soft side, but I gotta figure out which one's TC. Oh. Dude, the skin. Yup, there it is. Goated skin for me. Alright. Boot reveal. Hmm. Reasonable loot. Can't be mad at the loot. Not bad. I feel like I'm playing solo Rust, like solo on the server. But this isn't a dead server. I know I'm known for some dead servers sometimes. This server has 200 people. Maybe because I'm in such a remote part of the map. I guess all the action's up here, but like single player Rust. I mean, it's kind of fun. Oh, I might try to raid next is those dudes I, whose base I died at. The problem is I just heard like a hundred doors. So I don't know, I don't know how expensive it's going to be, but I think a lot of them are wooden. So I bet if I pull up with like eight satchels, I could get into something. Might give that a try next. Okay, I've made nine satchels. I'm going to try and raid those funny guys. 
see what happens. Or do I just make a tenth and raid that? I think that's a better call, actually. I've changed my mind. I do not know how many doors these people have. But that, I can just go right through the side. Okay, I have six cloths, so I need to go get four cloths so I can make a, another stash. These are pathetic times. They've added honeycomb. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe this would be good raid. Maybe this would be good raid. Unrivaled vernacular. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I think that'll be more fun. All right, I'm going. I don't have enough sulfur to make another satchel, but a few bean cans might be good for wood doors to finish them off. I think he's in there right now. Oh my god, it's a garage door? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I'm giving up. Fuck that. Man. Alright, I'm gonna raid the stone base. I can't believe they got garage doors already. There's the wood door on top. What is that, a decoy? Decoy wood door? Oh, armored door 2 by one That might be the money. Either way, I need an extra satchel, so I gotta get to work. I need the cloth. Okay, 10 satchels, ready to go. I decided I'm gonna raid the furnace base because I think the armored one is probably just like some clan's depot base for stone quarry. I don't know, I just don't have a good feeling about it. Wait, this is a wood door. But I checked. Ooh. Okay. Depot and do a little more investigating. I don't really know what I'm looking at. But this is money. We're already even on sulfur. As long as I don't drop it. Almost forgot to transfer the rest of the loot. You know, I was almost off put by the wood door. Glad I stuck with it. I think this is going to be big money. The wood door is a decoy. Okay, so there's an open garage door here. Oh, the shop is low. I guess I could just jacky the shop. That'd probably be my best route. And we'll see what, what's behind it. No. Alright, I think he gave up on me. We are so close. Okay, here we go. Owe me the money. Okay. Reasonable money. Well, there it is, folks. Reasonable money. And a reasonable start to a beautiful wipe. Guys, I gotta hop off for a bit. I might be on later tonight. 
Hopefully no one raids me. Maybe we can do a raid that's remotely exciting tomorrow. All right, Spooners, for now, good night. Guys, I'm running around just looking for decayed bases, you know, not doing anything. Just trolling. This might be the biggest base of all time. I have 38 FPS. This is the only base in render. Look at this behemoth. We're looking at like a 20 by 20. Oh, it's rated. They rated the biggest base of all time. 20 by 20 footprint. Ooh, money? Broken launcher? I'll take that. Let's see if there's some money in here. Okay, shotgun trap. Another one. Kind of pinned. <laughs> Not really sure what to do about that. Maybe I can... Ugh. Oh, open core. I gotta get in there. Dude, I am lagging. So how are these people playing on this? Okay. Ooh. Okay. A little bit of money. I like that. I like that. Still a lot of potential. Dude, this is crazy. Ten sardines, ten minnows. I'll munch on those. Okay, I think a computer station. Hey. Oh, garage door, I needed that. This is a Technic base. How did they loot all this? I mean, it's a lot of bot. Oh, no, there's more. Okay. What about the shops? Pumpkins. I guess it's clan culture to despawn, which is kind of lame. Ah, come on, why are you despawning? Leaving a seed? One frag? Alright, I'm out of here. Who needs a base this big? Well, we do have a thoroughbred to take us home, that's nice. Look at that raid base. Alright, well, I've come out with something. It wasn't crazy, but you know what? It's solid. Alright guys, I completed a farm trip, 10,000 sulfur, we got it cooking, and I just realized there's a shop selling a tier 3 that's very damaged for 45 high qual, which is kind of a steal for me. I'm gonna take this horse while I have it, go pick that up, let the sulfur cook, and we're gonna be in a position to do some, some solid raids very soon. Alright guys, the tier 3 has been acquired. I also have like every BP needed for tier 3 raiding. I'm just gonna get the rest of this sulfur cooked. Maybe we scope out a raid. Maybe that armored door base. Alright guys, take a look at this. Six satchels, one C4, enough for a stone wall and a TC. Can you guys guess what I'm gonna raid? Comment down below. Put in your guess. It's gonna be wild. So I imagine this is TC, so maybe there's like a door to it. I guess I'll just raid the wall. So sick of these fucking satchels, man. It's always the last one. Oh man, what the hell? What? Ooh!
base. Alright, well. You know what? Can't complain. We got a kit. A nice kit out of it. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Did get 40 gunpowder though, but, you know. That's the third raid that's just okay. Nothing spectacular, nothing bad. I suppose I'll start making preparations for the next one. Entire launch site. Take a look at this pipe hall. You guys ready for the pipe reveal for the whole launch site? Every component I gotta fucking elevate. A hot balloon armor. To protect my balloon. No pipes. Believe that shit. I did get some tech trash. We could make C4. Although I don't have a raid target, so I don't know if that's viable. We'll see. Alright, guys. It's time to look for a pathetic raid. I've raided everyone here. Ready that guy. Could check out over there, see if our boys have upgraded or not. Oh, I think they raided this. I bet this was money. I might have enough for this, honestly. I think it's worth a try. Sheet door. I feel like I should 2C4 this. Pretty sure they're, they're gonna have at least one garage door. Let me go grab another one. I think I have enough. Alright guys, two C4s, enough for a sheet door. Let's hope it's not a garage door down there. It's money time. It's armored? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. What? Oh, this guy's got a bucket hat? He's got two armored doors? Fooey. Alright, I'm gonna have to go home and look up how much I need for that. That fucking sucks. These guys must have money, though. This dude had a metal detector, and he's metal detecting. He has an armored door. Two armored doors. How does that even happen? Let me run the numbers. Alright, guys, I gotta go find more tech trash or pipes while my charcoal cooks. I hope these guys don't seal. What is bro doing? What? If I kill him, does he fall? Oh, brutal. This place fucking sucks. I gotta go somewhere else. Maybe Milton's. Yeah, I guess that's my best bet. Forget that guy's there. Poop myself a little bit. some more green cards and pickaxes please i don't have enough flares maybe all right come on pipes and tech trash okay uh what's a guy gotta do for some pipes man we got some tech trash items i guess but pipes are rare on here Loved more green cards and pickaxes, though. 
Finally, dude. Pipes. A, band a bandage? Okay. You know what? I'm happy. MP5. That's my second best gun. I needed that. Damn, nine semi buddies. All right. And now we should have some charcoal. Let's make some C4 and uh, hope there's not another armored door waiting. Guys, I uh, I have Fred over right now. In real life. Real life Fred. We are homies in, in the real life. And he just, he just uh, brought up a great point despite having like 50 hours in this game. I could have just hit some road signs for pipes. Can you believe that? Guys, there's always something new to be learned. Always knowledge to glean, even from those who may not have the experience. Don't forget that. All right, I don't know, I don't know if some sulfur like fell through the base or something, but somehow I'm out. I thought I had like a lot more. So I might have to go farm a, a couple thousand. Alright guys, it's time. You're kidding. Oh, come on, man. What? Where did they even get these? They don't even have a tier three. Give me a break, but I do have meat. Some HVs, three hoodies. These guys are going to be loaded. I hammer their bags. Unbelievable, man. Where did they get these doors? Oh, I bet they got it from that base they raided. I bet that thing was loaded. All right, two more C4. That's all I need. Then we're good. All right, I just need to farm like thousand sulfur kill a couple bears and we'll be good hopefully it's worth it i think it will be guys we may have found a somehow larger base than the other one I can only see a piece of it, but the frames are already taking a, a bit of a hit. Look at that. I can probably raid that. I'll have enough after this raid. Guys, server restarting. Look at this monkey. And something. What's he eat? He's chewing for a while on that. Funny little guy. He's got a ball sack on his neck. He does have a ball sack on his neck. What are you eating, man? Come on. It sounds crunchy. I think it's like an apple. I think the food's in the sacks. Oh. Like a chipmunk. There's a different monkey. He's eating watermelon. Oh, he's little. Ladies and germs, it's time. The time has come for money. Let's hope it works. I need this to work very badly. I have toiled over this raid for like almost three hours. Alright, money reveal. Ooh, okay. Oh, 
Hey, money. Money, money. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Okay. Please with the money. Solid money. All right. Let's bring this home. Might fortify the base a little bit. And then probably log off for the night. By the way, guys, this isn't the second day. This is the same day. I just couldn't hold back. I had to get back on. I was so excited. It's been a long day of rust. All right. I have everything I need. Can you lock a fridge? Rust Mythbusters. Yes, you can. Can you believe that? You can lock a fridge. All right. Pretty solid raid. I'm happy with that. I don't know if I profited on sulfur, but I got a lot of useful crap. All right, guys. Until tomorrow, let's hope the base stands. Good night. What's up, Spooners? Welcome back. As I tried to explore the island, and there are many humans. Guys, it is day two. I have not been raided. I've been on for a couple hours. Decided to do some farming and some organizing. Got a lot of metal, some sulfur cooking, gun box, a few AKs, armor looking good. I made six rockets, more to come. Got some extra cheese, comps. And, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of building up our armaments here. This island has certainly piqued my interest, but I have, like, eight frames when I go there, so I don't really know what to do. Also, a lot of them are online, surprisingly, even though they're, I think, Russian. As you just saw, I'm pretty sure those were four different people. I don't know, maybe there'll be some, some island clan trolling today. You guys get the point. It's gonna be a great day. All right, I think I found my raid. This really cool looking base. I feel like it'll have money. I think I have enough. I'm gonna wait till morning. Go get geared up. See what I can do. All right. It's raid time. I made an extra C4 too. Can you believe that? Someone farming? He's nuts. I wonder if it's the guy who lives here. Trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. So this is a floor. This is a floor. 
Maybe that's the loot room. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. If I should wait. I mean, if I could just get a little more boom, I could raid, but I feel like he'll seal if I run home. Alright, I think I have to. He was pretty slow on the respawn, so I might have a chance. I just gotta move quick. Let's hope I didn't take too long. Come on, Mr. Horse. Move! Move! Okay. Gonna have to change the plan a little bit here. We'll see if this works. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Need a hundred something. I'm gonna try and raid this door. Maybe it's a loot room. Alright. Well, guys, I think I flopped. Well, guys, we managed to do it somehow, and the loot sucked. But, uh, you know, persevere, right? You, you know, it'll happen. The worst ROI of any raid. But it was an online raid, so there's that.
Guys, I've made some unbelievable base enhancements. We've got a shooting floor with peak downs. We've got one solar panel fueling a battery that is not being used currently. We've got many floors to add doodads and stuff. This battery getting charged up. We've got a fully metaled furnace and entire base. See what our upkeep is now. 7,000. That's manageable. Not as bad as I expected. Still kind of the same price to raid. I got to figure out how to fortify this. Uh, you know, feeling pretty secure. Also feeling like I have a pretty cool house. I'm thinking I just go on a on some kind of roam. Raid was a bit demoralizing to say the least, but uh, you know, I haven't really been out roaming in a while looking for people to kill. You know what? Maybe I take that train out. Let's take it around the map for a while. Get up to some antics. Alright, I tried to, like, roof camp to bait a raid, but I couldn't find any of them. So I'm just going back out. Oh! Oh, that's him. That's him. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me. Alright, there's definitely an online coming. Or maybe an offline. Nice cheats? Alright, guys, I've made preparations. I've learned from Llama. I've got a locker set up right near the shooting floor. And I'm hoping, you know, as a probably 20 plus man clan, that they will be willing to do an online on a solo. That might be giving them too much credit, but at least I'm sort of prepared if they do. Alright, I'm gonna go try and prod them more. What the hell? Sounded like it hit me. Hoping this guy comes out with like one million rockets or something. Oh, that's Diggs. Oh, he's on the roof too. I'm pinned by two roof campers. Man, these guys are so lame. Hello, bitch. Hello, bitch. Ah. Ooh. Come on. Someone come raid me. Hey! Hey! You in there? Hey, my friend. Hey, what's up, man? Bro. Hey. Man. Don't off the cheats. I'm not cheating, but you want to raid me, man? It'll be fun. I'm alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Hey, where are you going? You gonna raid me or what, man? Come on, it'll be fun. Are you scared? Scared to raid a solo. Uh, you need the MP5? What? You need the MP5? No, 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 no. I want you to raid me. Raid me. Oh, uh, okay. Hey. Okay. So what are we thinking, huh? Could be cool, man. Think about it. Could be your guys' first online raid. Think about that. 
you ever done an online raid, man? You ever tried that before? It's pretty fun, man. You might enjoy it. Come on, man. Think about it. Think about it. Ah. Ooh. Just want to. I want to defend a solo online. I I don't know if I've ever even done that. Well, guys, if we'd around for a long time, and then I decided to just ask the guy straight up, and he said no. I think he's just gonna offline me. But I gotta go get some dinner. So hopefully I don't get offline in the next, like, hour. We'll see. Spooners, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, Spooners. This motherfucker said, no, we're not- we're, we're going for a big raid up on the other island. And they just offline me! A solo! Come on, man! Oh my god, they even got up here. Oh, they built a raid base, too. Definitely gonna need a raid base to offline a solo. Come on! What? Uh... Motherfuckers. If this is just decaying now, this must have been at like 4 a.m. Oh, uh, guys. Sometimes you just have to take the L in stride. And today is not one of those days. I'm very upset. I was excited to get back on today. But, uh, you know, what, uh, what can you do? Let me just remind you guys what, what we're up against here. This is like the greatest injustice of, of Rust history. Look at this. It's not even loading in yet. They got the 30 by 30? Really? I mean, come on, man. What am I supposed to do about that? They have more windmills than I have walls. Oh, they have another one, too. I mean, you guys get the idea. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, uh... Fuck. Spooners, I hope you enjoyed this solo saga. Let me know if you want another one. Maybe one that goes well. I'm sure as hell not gonna rebuild on this server right now and try and get any sort of revenge because that is... It is a... Fu a futile, a futile effort. Fuck! Alright, good night, everybody.